Today, I'm making a very special and really important tool out of a piece of Douglas fir. Because even though it's technically spring, you wouldn't know it around here. So why not lean in with some Douglas fir flavored shortbread? The best way to test it out is to just take a quick little taste. Woo! Use the needles we collected to make Douglas fir sugar, which needs to dry out in the oven at its lowest temperature. So it's over to the wood shop to make a shortbread stabber. And it's weird, when I went to the store and asked them if they had a shortbread stabber, they, they politely yet firmly asked me to leave. Okay, onto the Douglas fir. One of the most unique things about them are their cones. They're easily distinguished by these little things called bracts that stick out from between their scales that look kind of like the hind legs and tail of tiny little mice. All right, the tool is coming together nicely. The thinness of the poker stabber part made this a little challenging, but in the end it worked out pretty great. Now we just use the dried out Douglas fir sugar to make the shortbread, and when it's out of the oven, we get to put the tool to the test. 